Hey CFO athletes, welcome to another Saturday Partner Wad for October 17, 2020. We have CFO Shreet Sweeper. Shreet Sweeper. Okay, so for this workout here, two person team, four time, gonna get going through 42, 36, 30, 24, 18 reps of single dumbbell thrusters, single dumbbell bent over rows, that's each side, and then burpees. So, um, just to walk through this move, this workout here, um, partners, there's two people, maybe three, but two, ideally, you can figure that out. Uh, one athlete working at a time, the other one will rest while the other, other one does the, the movements. Um, break up the reps as you see fit. So for round one of 42 reps, you'll go through single dumbbell thrusters with one arm, switch when necessary, once you've done 42 completed reps of single dumbbell thrusters between the two partners, between your partner, you move on to 42 single dumbbell bent over rows, and then 42 burpees. Once you guys have finished that completed, then you go 36 single dumbbell thrusters total, 36 single dumbbell bent over rows, 36 burpees, and then so forth. The workout should take about 25 minutes, so that's the, uh, the time that you should think about as you're doing it. Strategy-wise, uh, so the first three rounds, 42, 36, 30, will be a total of 108 reps per movement. So you'll do, be doing 108 thrusters, 108 single dumbbell bent over rows, and 108 burpees between the part, between two people. So uh, 54 reps per movement. Then the last two rounds will be 42. So it's significantly uh, smaller amount. So just think for the first three rounds, since you guys uh, are relatively fresh and you have hopefully a good strategy and you're breaking up the, the rep scheme pretty evenly, uh, you'll have a good amount of rest. So go big on those sets. Um, yeah, and move quickly. Make sure you get some rest on that other end. Uh, for thrusters, so let, just, let me to, just let me discuss that really quick. So single demo thrusters, you're gonna go on one arm. Each arm is a, is a rep and then you'll go to the other side or you can switch out with your partner and then go to the other side. So you're gonna do five reps on one side, athlete one, then athlete two, five reps on right on the right side, then athlete one will go back, five reps on the left side, and then athlete two, five reps on the, uh, five reps on the left side. So uh, you can alternate that way. So you, as you start to burn out, you switch out and then you have ample rest on each arm. Single dumbbell bent over rows, so we say each side. So if you think about it, uh, 42 total. So if you're doing 20, if each if, if you break it up evenly for round one, each partner would do 21 reps on one arm, on the right arm, and then 21 reps on the left arm. That's how I'm, I'm seeing it uh, when they say each side. So otherwise it would just been each one rep would have counted evenly. So, so it's to think about it, it's almost double the reps because each side is going to be doing um, a, each one movement. It's going to be interesting. So just think on uh, 21 on the right side, 21 on the left side per partner. Okay, so for your weight that you're going to choose, uh, thrusters, since it's a Partner workout. Think about a heavy, moderate weight that you can do that you can complete within two to three sets uh, per athlete. So, if it's 42, so 21 per per athlete, so about seven reps. Uh, if you have to break it up that way, so um, not a bad weight. You can do seven rest. Partner will go seven. You rest seven, seven, seven. So. Uh, that seems reasonable there. Then you think about thrusters, let's think about using our legs instead of use, think about our arms first. So the brunt of the energy is going to come from the lower half of the body. Once you explode from the top with full extension, the, the dumbbell will come off the shoulder there and then you would do that. So don't think about a pressing, uh, a push press movement, think about a, a driving with the legs and then thruster it up. Uh, bent over rows. Since uh, the thruster will be determinant weight, the bent over rows will actually be uh, very manageable. Uh, think about completing your your rounds here in one or two sets. So if you can actually do 21 unbroken, that's ideal. You can or you can break it up in two sets. Uh, do a set of 11 and a 10, one on each arm, 
and that will work out there. Uh, for this one here, we're going to bend over. Think about trying to keep your, your torso long, hinge at the hip there, and then try to keep your back as parallel. Think about keeping your back as parallel to the, gra to the ground as possible. And then that way you can really engage those lats or incorporate that. Burpees, like we've been doing four standard burpees. Uh, chest, to the, chest and quad hits the ground. And then full extension at the top, hip open, catch some air, pop your hands, come back down. Easy peasy. Modifications for thrusters. We have one a double dumbbell. So if you, can, if you can't do one, you can do two. You could do a dumbbell goblet thruster. So you hold the each end. I'll demo that momentarily. You can do wall balls. And if you do any of these three modifications, you'll just go equal rep scheme. So 42, 36, 30, 24, 18. If you decide to modify using just a plain air squat, you're going to multiply by two. So 84, 72, 60, 48, 36 for the air squats. For the row, you can, you can modify using ring rows on dumbbell plank rows or double dumbbell bent over rows. Uh, so for those guys, you would do equal reps, 42, 36, 30, 24, 18, for ring rows especially, and uh, double dumbbell rows. For the uh, dumbbell plank rows, you will be doing the same rep scheme as you would if you're doing a single uh, bent over row. So as we said before, Think about if you're doing a part for round one, each athlete would be doing 21. You do 21 on the right side, 21 on the left side. And for modification burpees, you can reduce the amount of reps if it takes too long. Uh, you can make it harder by hitting higher targets, or you can possibly do, you can also do burpees without the, the push up version. So just the kick out. And so I'll demo that in a couple minutes here. So let's get after the demoing. So you've warmed up properly, you've gotten your thrusters, you're about to get the workout, you've talked to your partner, you guys figure out your rep scheme, you grabbed your single dumbbell. As you keep the dumbbell, if you do the, if you do the dumbbell off the ground, you are allowed to come to a full clean first for the first rep. And then here, drive up with the legs, drive the legs, explode, then the dumbbell comes up overhead there. Make sure you get full walkout on the elbow there, head through the window. As the dumbbell comes down, hit, make contact with the shoulder, then come to your squat, keep it engaged, lift it up, like so. Complete your rep scheme that you choose it, you chosen, or your for partner one, then partner two can go with the other side, necessary. Uh, let's go modifications. If you got double dumbbells, feel free to go double dumbbells as well. For that, so two dumbbells, same thing. Make sure this dumbbell, the head of the dumbbell lands on your shoulder first. Bring it down, drive up with the legs, then pop it up there. Full extension at the top. You can do a dumbbell goblet thruster, holding the dumbbell by each end. Same thing, thruster, then explode the top. Come back down, keep that front squat position, front rack position. Full extension at the top. If you have a wall ball, feel free to do the wall ball. Same movement. And then if you don't, feel free to do air squats. Make sure when you do air squats, keep your chest up. Hip crease below the knee. Stand up tall, hip extension. So you bent over rows, single dumbbell. We're gonna think about keeping the torso long, hinge of the hips, get the back as parallel to the ground as possible, keep this arm engaged, soft knees, bring the dumbbell up to the chest, that's one rep. Keep the elbows close. Again, keep it long, head neutral. That will be your movement standard for a single dumbbell bent over row. If you're going to do a double dumbbell row, feel free to do so. Make sure you, the head of the dumbbell touches the chest, keeping the torso long, 
Try don't round the back, keep it long. Like so. If you have ring rolls, feel free to use those. If you are doing a plank dumbbell roll, get into your plank position. Hold the plank position from here. Dumbbell head to the chest, keeping that good plank position. Try to keep the hips square, so you may have to keep your feet further apart than close together. <clears throat> and finally, for your last movement, good old standard burpees. So from here, quads and chest on the ground. Full extension at the top, and then jump up. Modifications could be, again, reducing the reps. You can do to a higher target as you jump up, it make it harder, or just the burpee without the push-up. So just the burpee, and then jump. And that's going to cover today for CFO Street, Sweep, Street Sweeper. Hope you guys have a good wad, and we'll see you guys next week. All right.